Hey, we're Will and Lisa, two empty nesters looking for new adventures. In 2020, we sold our house and quit our full-time jobs to spend less time working and more time trying out new things. In 2021, we built out a Ford camper van and visited nine states with our dog, Teddy. In 2022, we walked the Camino de Santiago. And in 2023, after spending the winter in the Pacific Northwest, we're on to Europe for the next adventure. After spending less than a day in Copenhagen, we headed back to the airport to catch a flight to Manchester and then a flight to the Isle of Man. We were about to spend a week hiking the Isle of Man. You might be wondering, where's the Isle of Man and why are we hiking it? The Isle of Man is an island in the Irish Sea with England to the east, Scotland to the north, and Northern Ireland to the west. Why were we hiking it? Sometime between reading about women riders who walked a lot and searching the internet for our next walk, I came upon the coastal path on the Isle of Man. It reminds me of like how small Long Beach Airport is. Yeah. Welcome to the Isle of Man. I wonder if it's going to be windy for our whole hike. I guess it's being on the coast, huh? Probably pretty likely. Um, yeah, I mean, we're literally walking the coastal path. Yeah. <laughs> and on arrival we had like a whole package for us um, for our walk I would definitely say our accommodation is getting very staying at your grandma's house vibes <laughs> but look at the view and the couple that owns it is very nice and they've told us they'll drive us to get dinner or drive us to town or whatever. After getting settled at our lodging, we headed to the nearest town to get groceries, eat lunch, and have everything we needed for our walk that started the next day. The original route had us leaving the next morning from Castle Town. Since we were already in the town, we decided to walk the rest of the way to our lodging and cut that out the next morning. The company we booked with gave us a day-to-day -day detailed schedule and route, but we ended up making changes along the way. All right, day one, here we go. Today, I think we're gonna do like 13, 12 or 13 miles. And we're gonna go around, so this part of the island kind of goes whoop, and then we're gonna go around that as our walk today. That's the official sound, whoop. <laughs> I was like, this is not the same place we were last night. 
Look how much is covered. Yeah. That's funny. breakfast this morning it was like an English breakfast and there was beans eggs toast some kind of black blood pudding blood sausage I don't know I didn't eat it Will tried it and said it wasn't for him it was a pretty big breakfast probably more more than we needed but uh way to start the day. Stuart is very chatty. He told us all about his previous life in engineering. And now I'm, I think we're at, I think we're at two miles, something like that. But we've left the road, which is nice. No more of that loud traffic. It's so quiet and peaceful. like part of the walk is closed right here. First detour. Detour. We have to go up the hill. Yeah, it's a foot path closed. Oh. That looks kind of fun. Yeah. company gave us this very helpful book all about the coastal path. A uh, plethora of drop dead gorgeous cliff scenery. The walk begins by taking people's property with the sheep. Dog under control I would not be taking my dog with all these baby sheep. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry to bother you. I didn't know we were going to be walking with them. I want to share the trail with you. Excuse me. Maybe. Watch where you walk, Will. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Hey. Look at the little babies. They're so cute. Day one on the coastal path, 
or the Way of the Gull, as it's also known, gave us stunning views. And a few thorns. Not for these bushes, Will. Yeah, I just got some stuck to me. Oh, I think there's some more of those bighorn sheep. Okay, earlier we saw a bunch of regular sheep. I think regular? I don't know. I'm a sheep expert. But these ones are the brown ones. I think they're native to the island. Let's see, over there is where the sheep are. They do look like the ones with four horns. Just saying, I don't think it seems like we haven't seen as many cafes as we did on the Camino. So, so we're so excited about this super, one. Super, super good. And it's funny because I feel like we're one of the only people walking. First of all, this coastal path. Second of all, all those people inside have like drove here and they're all bundled up in their jackets and they're gonna drive back. But we're very excited. We got a scone. Look at this little teeny. Look at my little teeny cream, strawberry. And jam. Strawberry Are you supposed to do cream and jam and butter? I didn't realize. I thought one or the other, but maybe you put them both. Altered our route slightly so we're not following the walking tour companies. <laughs> we're, we're, we're altering it because day two is like extremely difficult. So we decided to do a chunk, a little chunk of it, a small piece of it to like cut it a little. <laughs> we, we thought that might make it easier. All right, battery's getting real low, but we have reached. Port Aaron, and I think we wanted to go a little further, so we wanted to go around this thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see how great we feel. We feel good enough to do it. And now we're going to go around that tower thing for the last three miles. We might die. Our feet hurt. It smells like garlic everywhere. We found out there's wild garlic growing like everywhere around us. And that's why it smells like garlic. It's all downhill from here for the day. So yay. How many miles are we at? Woohoo! We just gotta get all the way down to the beach and then we're done. 